Buonasera e benvenuto i miei amici. Welcome to my ITSL game against Ital the Italian opponent uh, Andrea Mancuso. I have you as a sir. Uh, not a really convincing hand 17 points, but all of them are more or less playable. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Arab Israeli war first. <coughs> I mean, Arab Israeli war is the most natural. Headline I'm not sure about duck and cover because I don't have rich hand so. Okay, defecting this was not a big issue. So, I mean, if I play Warsaw Pact now, I'm gonna have to space the and cover probably. Unless he goes to Malaysia. But I'd like to save Warsaw Pact for a Malaysia coup. Sorry, duck and cover for a Malaysia coup if he goes there with that one at once. So, Let's get rid of this one here, and yes, it was a good coup result. Of course, I can always hold the duck and cover, but it's not nearly as good as yeah, Malaysia coup. So. The counter, so I guess I have to use Warsaw Pact and, and at least uh, grab advantage at this side of the board. Plus, within the Pakistani war, I can spread without worrying. Egypt and Lebanon, I assume. Mm, not exactly. Close enough, though. I'm just checking whether he is or isn't going to score Middle East. And I will probably space back and cover because it's not worth hanging on such a and oh well so probably priorities I don't know South Korea and North Korea not much to be done with these ops but thankfully my opponent doesn't have too strong ops as well, seemingly. Do you want to intervene blockade? Okay. Well, maybe let's do it this way in this case and hold on in the packet. If he want to intervene blockade, this may mean that he doesn't have a good discard card. So either uh, Soviet two ops or very strong cars which he wishes to have later on, but hmm, still, I don't know. Okay, maybe this was really a hand that blockade didn't have good candidates. And I understand he didn't want to hold blockade, playing your intervention for ops and risk let's go purge. On the other hand, discarding Comic Con. Hmm. Okay. Uh. 
Huh. What do we have here? Okay, I am controlling NATO and Marshall Plan, which is great because I can play them in this order. So captured Nazi scientists go first. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, he had the scoring. Uh, needles to say that I should probably be cooing here as well. But let's use a three op. Maybe it should have been a four op. <laughs> Serious crisis for the rescue in France. If he attempts to grab domination, because if he has a four up, it's red scar. Asian domination is out of the question, I guess. <laughs> But this was victorious and it was a very important victory. However, it needed an immediate response. I probably should score Europe ASAP, and of course, if I can do it without triggering Suez Crisis, I won't be eventing Suez Crisis. Oh, here you are. Okay, so... So, for the next turn... Uh, love to avoid playing Marshall Plan and US Japan and the China card but I guess something has to be consessed. And holding into Paki is definitely worth. Unless, of course, he takes India. Well, even if he takes India, holding in the Paki is worth. Because it looks like a good headline. So I gave up Japan, but maybe I'm going to provoke him to take France. Which should then fall to the goal. So Decal is gone, Distal is still not, I awaiting Vietnam revolts, I'm awaiting Nasser, socialist governments. Mm -hmm. And well, I think I'm gonna give him partial plan, but in return I'm gonna grab Asia and Middle East so that he shouldn't be able to really damage my Asia anytime soon. And blockade is still present somewhere. <laughs> P 
plus now even Vietnam repulse is not very convenient for him because uh, well two non-battlegrounds is what separates me from dominating Asia Red Scare an important card and of course CIA and Five Year Plan neither of them appeared excuse me so far my opponent has a higher rating than me and I have 0-1 against him he doesn't have very good uh, performance in this year's ITSL though Back and cover Arab Israel War and Truman Doctrine. These are the cards he shouldn't know about in my hand. All of the other cards he should be able uh, to recog recognize. Now, I'm not going to play Red Scar because although it's tempting, I really don't want to see this one defected. I think I play Nasser. And just follow up with maybe even Red Scare cooing Panama. Because it's about time that I started getting into some areas. Okay. It wasn't the worst that could happen. <laughs> and I beat a goal. But Skull can still be considered a potentially worth headline for the next turn. Oh, and the goal was just about what was needed. I know, I know, Europe scoring. Okay, Asia was the scoring he had in mind. And by in mind, I mean in hand. Uh, <laughs> so, Vietnam Revolts, is it worth playing now? I don't think so. On the other hand, I'm a little short of good targets to play. I play the entire hand or I play the China card. Hmm. Yeah, let's play this and try to spread using a plus one.
I know I could hold back and cover hoping for Miss Elenby, but it's so speculative. I just... I think I got too old to play games like this. I keep rolling very high, which is normally quite useful. Space race being a notable exception. Hmm. Now that CIA is gone, why not? I know, Asia scoring is gone as well. Yeah, I know an ideal target for brush war. Hmm. And he has the China card, so maybe not. It's it's not it's not really worth it. Let's keep him busy with Destal, Distal, and it's just enough. <laughs> I mean, he probably intended to space Distal or socialist governments, but now he should give up something. Like, yeah, for example. One, two, and three. In this order, so Thailand is not entirely repairable. <laughs> so I'm entering the mid war with seven points on my side. Hmm. And how should I react to this hand? Yeah, Missy Lanvi alert is quite an obvious reaction. But I got three scorings. Yeah, and I'm not really happy about them. I think Africa should be dumped relatively soon. Uh, that's really crappy hand. So... First special relationship and a coup in Libya, I guess. Uh, then I guess
Then maybe John Paul to Sudan and Colombia. Because Middle East is safe, quite, quite safe. Let's say it. Unless I get hit with Sarat. Okay, Grain says, what do you take? Oh. Oh, I guess I'm playing the entire hand. <laughs> Again. Okay. That was a little lucky. So, whatever he doesn't coup, I'm scoring this region. And then I probably use chair to secure the other region. And to gain meal ups. <laughs> One meal up would be gained anyway because Panama Canal returned. This is too important. Grain sales and Voice of America. I really hope, in, on turn four, I really hope he didn't get Junta or Brush War or <coughs> this kind of stuff. I literally have two more action rounds to play, one of which is Panama Canal Return, which is very unpleasant in this board. So, okay, he started with Space Race, I start with Africa Scoring. It's quite unlikely that he has the firepower to fight for South America. Then Panama Canal returned may go to Egypt. Che will bring me my meal ups in Costa Rica. Even if he has firepower to fight for South America, I think the best he can have right now is Junta. It's three victory points. Puppet governments is two. The bad news is that I'm gonna get rid of my source of victory points. The good news is that there should rather be good cards remaining. Well, now this scoring is hardly a good one for me. <laughs> mm. 
and Central America may be very painful. So very, very is, is too strong is the word. I didn't get any decals. And frankly speaking, it was a terrible turn. Despite I perched him, I got a completely unflexible hand and uh, he got two perfect cards for USA at the beginning of turn four. Oh crap. Maybe I should have stayed with this duck and cover. Okay, but with Missile Envy I can at least go to Egypt and it doesn't look very suspicious because where else should I play? And it's yet one more point in Middle East. Of course it may be flipped with Sadat. But if it's not, OPEC. I shouldn't count on 5-year plan discarding Southeast Asia scoring because 5-year plan is on the discard pile. <laughs> mm -hmm. I completely forgot about OAS, frankly speaking. A game-changing factor may now be Fido or Liberation Theology or even something like <laughs> One Small Step followed by OPEC. I probably am going to lose one victory point due to military operations. I mean, even if all the unfavorable scoring come, it's, it doesn't look that bad. The map looks good. But it suddenly, he suddenly got very good access to South America. Of course, South America is scored. It will return. It's, it's a very important region. Let's be honest. <laughs> Southeast Asia also looks very nasty and very hard to flip, frankly speaking. <laughs> Meh. Okay, no more missile envy, so mm.
Yeah, Hunt, huh? Okay, defected junta is something that indeed a little hurts. Oh well. Wow, that was great. And it's also great that I have ABM treaty because I'll be able to recoup Thailand if he coups them. Oh, even no need. I must admit that was lucky. So, shuttle diplomacy, Venezuela, it's more important than uh, all the other stuff anyway. Even though so South America was scored and... Now I think APM can be delayed. Of course, Norod can be delayed. Uh, Fido should not be delayed. Uh, at least I hope I made him feel a little bit better by using his language to respond to him. Cultural. Okay, this definitely is the moment that I play A, B, and Treaty. <laughs> I feel I should feel sorry about this as well. Mm -hmm, spacing. I think I can space as well. And fail as well. I don't think he has the scoring, otherwise he would have either fought for Central America or tried to get rid of. Norad as the last year should a little bit mess up with his uh, plans. Although Norad, of course, Norad itself is pain in the ass. For example, I have to put one more in Thailand. <coughs> but Ayenda into Chile should keep him busy. Okay. I'm not gonna claim Egypt right now. Excuse me. <coughs> Argentina, I suppose. Yeah. This is logical. So I lost Junta, 
due to defectors. But apart from that, it's not the greatest deal ever. Cultural revolution is a okay. He went onto it. Okay. So, Willy Brandt looks quite natural, and I think a follow-up with nuclear test pan against Panama looks also very natural. I will have to play Sadat, sadly. <laughs> Maybe, however, it's worth putting one into Egypt first. For example, with kitchen debates to boost OPEC, then he may think it's a good moment to play, for example, Muslim Revolution and put its uh, ops elsewhere, for example, in Israel, which should give me Libya, one more for OPEC and access to Egypt after I lose it to Sadat. And Willy Brandt is by the way natural also, because uh, when I coup, it is a natural target for Norgard, keeping him busy and not maybe not wanting other targets. Okay, brush war, indeed, makes sense, Thailand, I suppose. So, Southeast Asia is probably lost. Mm, not the greatest role ever. But let's not be too greedy. I can't say I didn't get my rolls. We can be greedy about this. By greedy, I mean I could have held this card. Mm. And play kitchen debates to Egypt, but I really want to have South Korea. Throwing 14, so I guess there's no way that uh, yep, that there's no discard. So 
So this is gone, Europe is awaiting and Central America is awaiting. And I hope he doesn't get them both with Kennedy. Empire Trap looks like the most natural candidate for space race with Nixon being the most natural candidate to hold. If he doesn't play the China card he's going to throw eight cards and so am I. So he's going to have one repeated card. Quite un unlikely that these are defectors. <laughs> now I didn't see South African Soviet cards. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, we will bury you. He had this, he spaced this. I think it's space time for me, maybe to deny him furthering in space race. This time successfully. I assume he doesn't have a Europe scoring. Because if he had it, it's very likely that he would play it there's no reason to delay. He may, on the other hand, have Central America scoring. I don't have good ops targets. <laughs> it's very unusual as for this stage of, of the game. <laughs> oh yes, I'm hesitant to play Sadat also because maybe I get um, Brezhnev and then I'm able to space Sadat and shuttle diplomacy is active. So Middle East is more volatile than it looks like. Yeah, I mean, if I play Sadat, suddenly he has only two points in Israel apart from uh, dominating Middle East, which he just did. So I think I'm going to give him this China card back. <laughs> Let's 
and just break Libya to regain at least temporary uh, domination. And yeah, it's quite wise of him <laughs> to put some pressure in South America, because where else? He didn't give me any decent coup targets in Africa so far. Okay, so now containment. Do we hope that he has South America scoring? Sorry, Central America scoring. Mm. It's not easy to decide where to play. And that's one option. <laughs> so both scorings are probably remaining. This he can break my Central American battleground and secure West Germany if he has, for example, Brezhnev. He has Alliance for Progress, which may serve the same purpose. And did. So, liberation theology? No. Portuguese Empire crumbles? Yeah, why not? No good cards to perform coups. It's quite sad. So... He got Muslim Revolution. It really very much depends on the coup result in Mexico. So maybe it's not worth performing coup at all. No, come on. Three plus is enough. With so negotiations, two plus is enough. I might actually use so negotiations to minimize the downside risk. So, what does he have? Quagmire, Muslim Revolution. Um, Probably, yeah, that also, that also. Mm -hmm. I said I don't, I didn't want a one. So, what did I roll? You guessed correctly. It may be game-changingly bad. 
although liberation theology is still somewhere. But now Africa has priority, and of course, Central America won't probably be scored due to Kennedy. So also goodbye to Kugmaya. Maybe I shouldn't have used salt. Hmm. Yeah, he's still dominating Asia, so <laughs> did he really get Asia scoring as the remaining card? This is the case, it's really annoying. If this is not the case and he scores Middle East and uh, fortunately not Algeria, so yeah, let's grab these points as they are available. And of course we take India. I got the China card for good. But for a quite decent price. <laughs> yep. Goodbye, goodbye. All the cards I expect to say goodbye to. At least I got this points first. I'm gonna lose some points to Europe scoring, of course. And now it's perfectly justified if he has Asia scoring. He did, and suddenly he started leading the game. Middle East and South America for the rescue. And if this is so, I probably have to realign Argentina on my last action now. Oh, this was an unlucky round. 
I had a terrible head. But also, should I had I concentrated a little more and remembered about Kennedy, I shouldn't have used salt in Mexico, honestly. Okay, it's very unlikely for me to lose the game very early on war games. And it is quite likely to maintain a good map position for the final scoring. It very much depends on how the cards come. Oh, and it was a very good roll, which should keep him busy enough to not perform a coup. Uh, yeah. Now he no longer can grab the China card from my hand. The reverse does not apply. Cultural revolution is still somewhere. We didn't see this one. <laughs> this time I got defectors. <laughs> hmm. So why don't we actually give this war a try? Not the greatest hand as well, but uh, manageable. It's not a bad hand. I'm not very amused about this, but let's hope for my good draw. Actually, it may be a game-changing role when it comes to the final scoring. Oh, I may hold two cards due to Cultural Revolution. Oh, and this roll happened to be successful. All right. That makes me somewhat happy. But now I must make good use of this.
Mexico may very likely be lost uh, to realignments. But why don't we attempt to take Nigeria and at the same time tickle Argentina a little? And of course prepare the later chat lag. Excuse me for a while. Oh, I got my answer. What was wrong with my approach? Yeah, oh, let's solidify this one. Actually, I could hold three cards if I had played Cultural Revolution and the China card once more. Needless to say, I consider this an exaggeration. I think I'm gonna hold two namely defectors and some of exposed Soviets. <laughs> Chernobyl last play. Bird trap space race. Czech hopefully evented more efficiently than just to cook Guatemala and Costa Rica. Good news is that I grabbed Argentina, which is the battleground in a region, the scoring of which is remaining. And for since the beginning of the turn, he's been contesting non-score uh, uh, regions which have already been scored and are only waiting for the final scoring. So what can we mess up with? Of course, grain sales, Voice of America, such stuff. Uh, 
the overall powerful events, ABM, brush wall, or Junta is gone. But mm, Red Scar Purge, of course, Star, Star Wars. <laughs> if he advances further. Mm, it's very unlikely for me to lose by war games. Somewhat peculiar. <laughs> okay. Let's prepare to dominate South America if I'm able to coup. Battleground next turn. I think I'm eventing to anybody. So, this is no longer a threat. And I'm going to see his headline. Great. <laughs> now, in case of Norad, what should I over control? I want to say the year. Ooh, East European unrest for ops. This is something. <laughs> Do we have? Middle East scoring? Yes, we do. All right, so South America. So I should over control them. Along with India. Asia is too costly potentially. So all the regions are scored except South America. <laughs> the map is looks slightly in my favor. The victory points are slightly in my favor, but this is still very volatile and vulnerable. Well, of course, I may get, for example, Pershing deployed when I grab one more point and 
inactivate now, right? <laughs> All rich aims. <laughs> long gun. Okay. Goodbye to long gun. But. But. But I am awaiting his move. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this hand. Actually, there's a lot of crap here. Why does it say commit your decision? Here I have no decision to commit. <coughs> My opponent is slowly running out of time. <coughs> and I think I'm gonna give him the China card because I really want to hold two cards this turn. <coughs> Namely, special relationship and B. And John Paul. John Paul can be played once I see solidarity. <laughs> so far, I didn't. Defectors are still more or less meaningless. As I've said that, okay, I'll have to bite the bullet. Iranian hostage crisis looks like an obvious headline. <laughs> Regardless of what I see there. Ukraine uh, says. Naughty, naughty. Okay, I guess I'm losing two victory points. But I'm no longer concerned about this card in my head. Maybe I'm even not losing victory points if he uses this kind of card to coup. Which he did, and he rolled very un unluckily. Okay, so let's try to space first and grab three victory points. <laughs> now I think it's worth scoring quite soon before it gets worse and maybe it's not worth playing the china card <laughs> it's certainly worth uh, boosting Zaire 
it's certainly worth cooing myself. Guatemala is a good target and I'm glad I hadn't used Chadwick the previous turn. Had I been too lucky, I would have two victory points to lose right now. <laughs> and actually, I think I could... Hmm. Okay. At least this is an event. <laughs> I could threaten some realignments against. <laughs> so, Africa. He took this risk. Okay, then let's play it. Maybe I should have approached just a normal flip. Yeah, I definitely should have. <laughs> okay. I misplayed this a little. Oh, this event is active. I didn't see this coming. <laughs> so I'm no longer on the victorious side of war games. Which is slightly annoying, because this is a very important game. If I win it, I'm very likely to win the division, and of course advance further to playoffs. John Paul. <laughs> but it's somewhat alarming that Kitchen Debates was active. This is work, I guess. Yeah. 
why didn't it wait for me to confirm my decision? I don't know. Okay, so I'm playing the entire hand definitely. Yuri and Samantha looks very nice as a hairline. Red Scar Perch looks very nasty as his hairline. <laughs> okay, I need this girl. I needed a better roll on this girl. Ooh, so this is going to be a very, very tough turn. <laughs> Solidarity, okay, it is voided. So UN intervention goes with Alliance for Progress. Uh, yep. And I'm very glad that this worked. This did not all well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Discarding solidarity was not the biggest deal ever. But he gets to play two last action rounds in a row. And I certainly don't like it. Oh, okay. I'm quite glad, I guess, that his roll rolls are so bad. I can't complain about my rolls. But what about this map? I only have six points ahead. And now Central America and Europe nullify each other. Asia is plus two for him. Africa is plus three, so it's already five. China is already six. Oh! It looks like I'm losing this game if I don't find something game-changing right now. What can be game-changingly good? <laughs> Realigning Panama? Not when it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, a coup in Central America is not enough, but two would be. Uh, I can't do much about it. I must do what's in my power to just defend Africa. But it's still not enough, I guess. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.